In part B, we're required to name the vegetation types found in area reference 0681. So um, there's two parts to this question. The first is we need to find area reference 0681. To do that, we need to look at our map. Whenever we find area reference or grid reference, we need to walk along the path first until we get to the number that we're after. So we're after 06. So we're looking from 06 to 07, that is the column that we're looking at. So we'll just highlight the column we're looking at, 06 to 07. Then what we need to do is we climb the tree. We climb the tree until we get to the area reference that we're after, which is 81. So climb the tree to 81, and then we know that we're looking between 81 and 82. You always look ahead, always look ahead. So it's going to be from 81 to 82 is the row we're looking at. Then we need to find where the row and the column intersect. So what we do is I'll just draw a line along the row that we're looking at. And I'll draw a line down the column that we're looking at. And you can see that they intercept in this um, square here. So area reference is always asking us to find a square rather than a single point in the square. So this is the square that this question is asking us to look at. So the next part that we need to do is we need to identify two types of vegetation that are in that square. In order to do that we need to use our skills of looking at the legend again. So if we remove all of our colours so that we can see the map clearly, it's this square here that we're looking at. And so what we need to do um, is find two types of vegetation in that square. So here's our square again. Um, so in order to find the vegetation, we need to use our legend. If we just simply have a look at the colours, you can see that there's light green here and that there is dark green along here. You can see that this is the saltwater lagoon that we looked at in the last question and you can see that there's these very faint blue squiggly lines. Now we found from the last question that those very faint squiggly lines is a wet swamp. So a wet swamp would be one type of vegetation that exists in this area reference. What we'll do is we'll go down to our legend and we'll have a look at what these colours green represent. So the light and the dark green. And if we have a look at our legend, we can see down here that the dark green represents a closed forest, 80 to 100% crown cover. And then the light green represents an open forest, 50 to 80% crown cover. When you're looking at this legend, the symbol goes in the same order as the description. So the dark green, for example, is the closed forest, and the light green is the open forest. So you could have had any, any, of those, any two of those three types of vegetation for that question. A wet swamp, closed forest, or open forest.